Hey guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to do a magic ring or a magic circle for crochet. Today I'm going to be using worsted weight yarn. I just have a lot of it in my stash, but I really, really loved this color and I thought it showed up nicely for you guys so you can see a little bit better what I'm doing with the magic ring. Um, I'm also going to be using today my J10 six millimeter hook. Um, it's just a little bit bigger of a hook, so not huge, but big enough so that way you guys hopefully can see a little bit better how to chain and single crochet and make stitches into a magic ring. So, so I'm going to start off with go ahead and stretching out some yarn. Um, so I usually start by taking the yarn in my hand and I want the end towards the bottom of my hand and I'm going to take the end that's attached to the ball of yarn and I'm going to wrap it around my fingers once but I'm going to cross it over so it's like a X and I want the um, end that's attached to the ball of yarn to be on the top like this. Alright so like I said I'm going to wrap it around and I'm going to pull it over the end of the yarn over and then I hold it with my third finger just because it makes it easier for me. Um, so in the front there's an X and in the back there's two straight lines. So I'm going to put my hook underneath the first one and use my hook to grab that second one. And I pull it under and then I'm going to twist it just like that. And then I can take it off of my fingers just like this. Now you always want the end that's not attached to the yarn to be down after this. And then I'm going to go ahead and hold the yarn that's attached to the skein or the ball of yarn just like normal. And I'm going to hold my yarn and then I'm going to go ahead and chain one. And I'm going to then single crochet. You could double crochet. You could half double crochet. However you need to use the magic ring but then you're just going to insert it instead of into a chain you're inserting it into the magic ring pulling up the yarn so you're then going to have two loops just like normal and pulling through and that's how you would single crochet into your magic ring now i'm going to show you one more time how to create the magic ring because i know it's kind of a complicated thing once you do it several times you're like Psh this but it's kind of a complicated thing to learn so we're going to start off with the end of the yarn down here you can take two fingers you're going to wrap it and cross it in front oops sorry cross it in front just like this and you're going to hold it with the other with your third finger the back should look like this so you're going to take your hook go under you're going to pull it through and twist and you can ease it off of your fingers try not to let it uncross and then you're going to go ahead and chain one and then insert your hook into the magic ring pull up another loop of yarn and pull it through that's your first single crochet. All right, guys. Um, I'm super excited to see how you guys use this magic ring. Um, it's a great way to start beanies. Um, amigurumi, I think is how you say it. I'm really, really bad with the um, different vocabulary. But um, there's so many different ways that you use this. You can use it for coasters. You can use it for... Oh goodness, for tote bags, for um, baby hats, you can, there's so many different ways. Um, this is just an awesome, awesome technique to have and be aware of. You can you make scrunchies with it, so many things. Um, so then what you're going to do is when you're ready to pull it tight, you're going to go ahead and take that end of the yarn and you're going to Pull it and it will tighten your circle up. And 
and you can keep going. Um, I just recommend that you're careful with how tight you pull it, especially with the different types of yarn, um, because some yarn isn't as strong and will actually break when you pull it too tightly. Um, just be aware. And then what you can do is you can either join your round. So that's the only thing is you want to make sure you're not crocheting too tightly. So you can join your round by doing a slip stitch like that. Or some people do not join their rounds. So we'll undo that. Some patterns will say not to join. And instead you are going to just single crochet or do a stitch on top of a previous stitch just like that. Um, a lot of times if that's the case you're going to put a stitch marker here if sometimes not it just depends um, but that is how you make a magic ring and how you and some ideas for how you might use it so can't wait to see what you guys make with these they're super fun great base technique to use especially if you love stuffies or beanies just a great thing to know how to do for crochet um, final thing I'm going to leave you guys with is if you want to make sure this stays really really tight like if you're wanting to make sure it doesn't undo at all when you are weaving in your ends and remember that just means that you are taking a tapestry needle and weaving in the ends in, in the middle of your stitches you can actually take the needle and you can go over the top and in between the stitches and then tie a knot to make sure it doesn't come undone. Um, that way you can pull it, pull it super tight and then tie your knot and it won't come undone very easily. Unless of course, you know, something gets like cut. But other than that, that's usually the best way to keep your magic ring intact. Um, another way some people will do so is if they will chain a few and then they'll just slip stitch into the first chain um, and that's one way that you can do this as well but I find that the magic ring is a little more effective when you're wanting to keep a nice clean circle in the middle but it's all up to you use your new knowledge and be creative. I hope you guys enjoyed this content. If you do, please like and subscribe. Thank you.